Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog with me, Crystal. If you are new here, thank you, friend, for subscribing or thanks for stopping by. If you have not subscribed, subscribe, girl. Like, subscribe. I mean, like, we're friends, right? Let's be friends. It is Sunday. I am headed to church, in person church, and um, I'm excited. So, this is not my home church. My home church, we're still doing um, virtual. However, this is a church that I've visited before, and um, they just opened up a new campus closer to my home. So, we are headed there. I say we, it's just me in the car, as you can see. I am meeting my friend Frida there. Frida and I go way back, way back. Um, we met at church, actually, so we, we got some years in this thing. And I love her dearly. And um, we're gonna go to this new campus. Oh, roller coaster. We're gonna go to this new campus. Um, I think this is their second Sunday being open. From my understanding, that's what she thinks too. She just told me about it yesterday, and I'm like, yes, let's go, because I am so ready to go back to in-person um, church. So, we are headed there. I did get up and get some little makeup on today. So, you see me made up, girl. Cute when I put some makeup on. Like, can you see me? Thank you, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to start putting some makeup on for y'all, okay? Because y'all see me buying all this makeup, but y'all barely see me wearing the makeup. Because I don't be going nowhere. Like, I may go to Target and it'd be like the curbside. I don't get out. Um, I go get my lashes done. She's messing with my face, so I can't have my makeup on. Um, my little wax, I go out to do that. That's quick 15 minutes. I have an appointment tomorrow, so we'll be going there. Um, yeah, I don't really be getting out doing much. Ooh, it's hot this morning. trying to see if I was um, on the way. Well, see if I was already there. And, you know, I'm on the way, friend. So, I'm going to go because I'm in rushing. And um, I'll just see you guys a little bit later. one brand so they're not that expensive but they're still decent quality I'm gonna get these towels and we're gonna see how they how long they last and if they are ruined by them kids because my son to clean his shoes with them and girl just anything 
So we're going to get these and if they take good care of them and they last and stuff, then I might invest in a better quality one, a little bit more plush. But for now, I'm going to go with these. So I have placed the order online at Kohl's and so I'm just going to go pick that up and then I'm going to head to get my wax. Thank you. Have a good day. Got our towels. I'm just going to show you what brand they are just in case you didn't know what I was talking about. But they're this kind, this brand. The big one towels. And, um, yeah, we're going to see. So I got these and some hand towels. So, yeah, on to our next stop. We have made it. Hey, Brian, we are finished with our wax. And it was a little painful today. I was like, what's going on? I don't know if I'm a little sensitive or, or what, but it was a little painful. Even the wax felt like hotter than normal. Maybe, maybe it's me. I went to the same girl that I always go to, but I don't know what the deal was today. I am headed to Best Buy. Y'all know. Y'all know me by now. I actually ordered um, an outlet that has the uh, USB already on it. You know, like the wall plug. So I need to switch it out and put the new outlet in. This is for my beauty room because I just have the one outlet and I'll be trying to plug outlets and extension cords so I can use my USB and all that good stuff. So I want to switch out the um, the outlet that's in there to make it be one that has the plug in the USB. So the deal of the day at Best Buy was a little outlet for 10 bucks. So I ordered one. I eventually may want to switch over all the outlets in the house and moving to a USB type of world. I eventually want to switch all of them over, I think. And um, we're just going to get this one for now. So we're going to run to Best Buy and pick that up. And then we're going to go home. We want to be home before it gets dark out. It feels good out here. It's like 80 degrees in Texas today. But Thursday is going to be 40s. I tell you. Texas can't make up its mind. It can't make up its mind, girl. But I'll see you when we get to Best Buy and then I'll show you what I'm talking about with the, the outlet thing. All right, we got our order. This is what I was talking about. USB wall outlet. So it just has the two two regular outlets and then the two USB cords. So I'm gonna to try to change it myself because I'm quite handy and um, electronics don't scare me or electrical don't scare me. I'm just gonna turn off the power and just do it. So I think I'm going to switch it out. Um, I feel like I'm gonna regret not getting more because this would be so helpful in my kids' room especially that little one because he always losing his little block to go to his um, phone. So I feel like I may should have got more, but we'll just do this one for now and then we'll see. We'll see how easy it is to change or how difficult it is to change and then I'll decide if I want to do the rest. But okay, girl, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, happy Tuesday, girl. Why last night I ordered some furniture and why today they're about to deliver it. So my son came home on his lunch break and we hauled the old furniture outside and I have bulk pickup coming to pick it up on Saturday. And the other furniture company is on the way to deliver us some new furniture. 
I have been needing some new furniture for quite a long time and y'all know with this pandemic, everything's been out of stock. It's not furniture that I just love, but it'll get me through and it's better than what I had right now um, because the furniture I had was kind of old too and I had it when the boys were younger, so it wasn't taken care of, but now they know they will get put out. <laughs> they mess up something. So I just wanted to come on and say that's what I'm doing on Tuesday. I'm on lunch, eating my little pot pie. Y'all know I'm a little pot pie right here. Every time my son come home, I'll be like, stop the KFC and give me a pot pie. But yeah, I will show you when they get done delivering the furniture. Just wanted to show you what the space looks like. Clear it out. I cleared it out and vacuumed the floor. I gotta clean this little carpet because I see a stain on it. Um, and that's where the other piece of furniture was. So I have a love seat that's gonna go right there and then a couch that's gonna go here. And um, I used to have like a chair and a half right there and it only fit where the beige area was. But I have been having a hard time. This room is so hard to match to find furniture for. So I just really kind of have to get what I can get. Um, so the love seat is going to be a little bit bigger than what the previous chair was. But hopefully it still looks decent enough. I think it's actually going to go all the way to the end of that table. But as long as we have some walking room, I think it'll be okay. So just wanted to show you that and we'll see what it looks like when they get here. Girl, we just threw that other furniture out there any kind of way. It's going to be looking real ghetto for the next couple of days. They said they may pick it up on Friday, but Saturday by the latest. But, yeah, they're just going to sit out there until they get them. Now, sometimes we be having random people come and picking up junk. So, somebody may pick it up before Saturday. All right, guys. We got the furniture, and it fits okay. I was concerned about not having enough walk room through there. But you actually have plenty of walk room both directions. And then this is where the couch went. So I'm liking it. You see my son is liking it as well. He's already testing it out to see how it feels when you lay out on it. So we are, we are happy right now. Happy family. Hey friend, it is Wednesday. How you doing? Girl, it is so cold in Texas. It is like 20 five degrees and has been all day and sleeting all day so i've been in the house all day <laughs> looking like this just got my little bonnet on and i didn't even do anything with my hair i work today but you know i work from home so i'm not on camera but um yeah i was looking like this all day today but what i've been doing to occupy my time i like to be productive right and I told y'all earlier in the week, or was it last week? I don't know. That um, I'm just trying to get stuff done, right? I got to kick it in gear and get my life under control. So what I've been doing in my room is going through all my drawers and organizing them. Because I always feel like I don't have any clothes to wear. And I feel like I wear the same clothes all the time. But I think it's because my drawers are not organized and having to dig through them and uh, so that was on the to-do list of things to do so crazy me pulled out all the clothes from the dressers and just threw them all on my bed right and then I'm sorting through them and I have a big black trash bag and I'm going to take some stuff for donations but I have been going through all these clothes I still got a whole pile left because um, they closed from the laundry too. I just threw them on top and um, I organized it. So I'm just going to show you what I did. And I think that this is a good idea. If you just sitting around the house, it's cold. You can't go nowhere. Don't want to go nowhere. Do something productive. And you know, you'll thank yourself later. You ain't going to want to do it right now. Cause I sure didn't want to do it. But what made me have to do it is when I threw all them clothes on the bed, I need to go to bed tonight. I'm going to have to go to sleep. So I'm going to have to move these clothes. So what else am I going to do? Throw them on the floor? No. Throw them back in the drawers? No. So it's like I force myself to have to get it together. So I just wanted to share with you because I'm so proud of me right now because I so wanted to sit down after work and get under the blanket and watch a movie and do nothing. But I'm like, no, let's be productive. 
because soon as it get hot again, I'm gonna be out the house doing something. So while I'm stuck in the house, let's do something. So let me show you what I have been doing. Okay, so if you can see, this is the dresser. I have like a chest of drawers here, just a tall chest. So I took everything out of the drawer. Not this top one, I haven't done that one yet. I just have like junk in there, really girl. I'm gonna get to that too. But this drawer here, I just have all my um, tank tops and tights. So anytime I just wanna throw on some tights and a tank top, I have them there. And then this drawer here is all my like two piece um, loungewear really. Stuff I wear that I, since I work from home, I don't have to really be on camera and want to be comfortable. So that's all two piece loungewear pajama type stuff that's there. This drawer is all my joggers cause I wear a lot of you know, like the little joggers, joggers and um, um, t-shirts. So any joggers and t-shirts or two-piece jogging sets are gonna go in this drawer. So if I'm just quick running to the grocery store, throwing some joggers, I know they're here. This next drawer is empty. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in that yet. So that's empty. This next drawer is all black. I think I've told you guys before that probably 85% of my wardrobe is all black. Maybe even 90%. I would I would be more comfortable saying 90%. So this drawer is just full of all black shirts. All black shirts, like all the way down to the bottom. Just all different type of black shirts. I try to get some black shirts with different type of patterns you know and stuff like that to make it not seem so boring but yeah all black shirts there and then this last drawer is actually jumpsuits um yeah a lot of these jumpsuits i haven't even wore i got them during the pandemic because i said as soon as this pandemic over i'm gonna be wearing these jumpsuits going somewhere and girl ain't been nowhere but anyway Okay, and then I also have this dresser over here that was full of clothes that I pulled everything out as well and threw it on my bed. So girl, it was a lot of stuff. So let me show you what I've done to this drawer. Okay, this drawer has my two piece um, like pajama sets or lounge sets. No, these are more like pajamas. Um, just like some little, there's some little booty shorts and a little tank top two piece pajama sets with some shorts. So that's in here. So I know if I'm just getting out the shower, I can just come right here and grab a little two piece pajama set. These are more for uh, if I'm gonna be in my room because y'all know I got boys and I don't walk around in booty shorts with the boys. So if I'm just gonna like get out the shower and just come stay in my room the rest of the night, I may put something like this on. So that's that drawer. These next two drawers are jeans. Now, I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I done gained some weight, girl. And um, y'all saw, if y'all look back through my vlogs, y'all saw over this year, I have really put on some weight and I'm gonna get my life together. So half of these jeans don't even fit me anymore and I started to send them for donations, but I said, no, let's keep them and let them, like, let it be your motivation to get back in your clothes. So yeah, these, I have two drawers of jeans. I have all different dark wash light wash the jeans there and then some more jeans in um this drawer so two drawers of jeans do i need two drawers of jeans probably not i may go through these but probably not today I'm, i may get rid of some of these but yeah two drawers of jeans this last drawer on this side is of dresses just little sundresses i guess well really not sundresses just all kind of dresses because i got this sweater dress in here this little sundress another little gray sundress and the lighting is horrible because it's the way i'm standing over the uh camera i'm sorry but yeah just sundresses so i know if i want to get a nice little cute sundress throw it on they're in this bottom drawer and this top drawer is more like uh, lingerie type pieces you know like lingerie type pieces and um shapewear i don't really have that much shapewear i need to get some more 
but it's really just like lingerie pieces. And then like, um, you know, this little stuff I would put under shirts, so don't show my boobs. You know, I work in corporate America and teach at church, so I have to cover myself up. But I haven't been working or going to virtual church, so I haven't really been wearing them, but that's what I have those for. Got some boob tape in here too, so whenever I do wear those jumpsuits, I can tape up my boobs. And then also you'll see these two boxes. They're for some old iPhone cases, um, old iPhone boxes. I'm not gonna show you what's in them, but I'm just gonna say they're not iPhones in these. They're just other personal things in these. And my little one, he will come in my room and be looking for stuff and he has found what's in these before and had questions about it when he was younger. But I find that if I hide them in something, he won't open up these boxes and look through it. So yeah, so ever since he did that when he was little, I started putting my personal things in these little iPhone boxes and he hasn't found them since then. You know what I'm talking about, girl. I, I think you do. I'm just gonna cover that. Okay, this drawer. When I say I wear all black except for 15% of my clothes, I would say it's this. This is the drawer that has any other shirt that I own that's not black. So I have some colors in here like this blue and an animal print, this, what else do I have in here? A yellow or pink. So any other shirt that I have that's not all black is in here. Purple. So one little drawer of shirts that are not black. Yeah, that's where that goes. So I know if I want something colorful, sometime in the spring I may want something colorful. Instead of wearing black in the spring, I might just come grab a blue shirt or something. Or if I'm going to work and we have certain colors we wear during the week for certain events, I just keep those shirts in here. This drawer is for um, sweaters or sweater type shirts are in there. And I don't think you can see in this drawer. I think you just see me. But this drawer has um, just all black pants. Yeah, all black. So like I said, 90% of my clothes are black. So this is just all black pants. I still got some new ones that I hadn't worn yet. But in there, that's what I've been doing. So yeah, that's how I'm spending my Wednesday. Just organizing and going through all my clothes. I still have two um, side tables, nightstands. that has two drawers on them that I can possibly put some stuff in, but I'm not gonna touch those today because I'm really tired of doing this, but I gotta finish now, I'm committed, I'm committed. But yep, yeah, that is it, that is my Wednesday. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey friend, it is Thursday, and I'm on my lunch break in the house bored and bored in the house because in Texas it's like 25 degrees and ice and people have been having accidents all over the news today I don't know why they just don't stay in the house but they outside turning up stuff but I told you guys last week that Thursdays is going to be my haul day because I have so many things to haul that I'll never get to them yeah I'm looking at all the boxes yeah, I think this is going to be best that I do a haul every Thursday on the vlog and show you what so I got. I have these two boxes of things from Ulta and there actually are a combined hauls that I just opened up and threw them all in a box and um, I have been waiting to haul them so it's not anything new I don't think. To be honest, I don't really know what's in here because I hauled it a while ago. And um, I'm just going to dig in the box and just we'll see together what I got. And that way I can put it away. And then, you know, every week we'll keep this keep the same energy. And then hopefully I can get around to showing you my makeup collection and beauty room, like a detailed one. So without further ado, let's just jump in. This first thing is this Lorac, um, what is this, unzipped palette. If you saw my haul, I mean, if you saw my declutter that I did a few weeks back, I um, decluttered this. However, 
I um, they had it on sale at Ulta during Christmas or something and it was only six dollars and so I had um, gave it away to my niece but then when it came back for six dollars I felt like I felt like <laughs> it was a good deal so I picked it up again I have issues but I feel like with those colors you can't go wrong like that's just a natural a nice you know neutral palette so I picked it up again and I'm not gonna declutter it anymore I don't think next things in this box oh this is some some samples we're not gonna go through that next thing are these what are these these are some morphe palettes it is called neutral territory and painted desert is the name of that and i'm going to try to open it and show you real quick and then um get rid of the box that way i can you know as i'm going through it i can put it in my drawers at the same time that's, that's what we're gonna do but i'm on lunch so i get taking too much time i'm gonna have to stop all this but this is what that one looks like. Just neutral, neutral colors. Marking stuff down. Okay. Then this one, the painted desert. I think these were on sale during Christmas for like five dollars a piece, something like that. And then that's that one. I uh, like it. I'm not buying not another eyeshadow palette you hear me because i know i have some more in these boxes so i don't need any more eyeshadow palettes what is this speaking of eyeshadow palettes there's another one this is the juvia's place warrior by juvia's place i think this is the eyeshadow palette too let's see what it is Ooh, this one isn't it has some different I mean, they all probably look the same on the camera, but it's more metallic-y. That's gonna look really pretty. Okay, three palettes down. I'm just gonna throw it all on the floor. Four palettes down. So far, this is what we got. What else is in my box? I picked up this Soap and Glory Smoothing Body Butter. Let's see what it smell like. Mm, it smell like um it smell like baby magic <laughs> y'all remember baby magic back in the day um i guess it was a lower price um lotions for babies it smell like baby magic what is this i picked this up girl i don't even remember buying this this is the rock daily cleansing pad jelly exfoliates and smooths your skin i must have got this on a good deal because why i need that child I don't know and I don't remember buying it, but it's in this box. What else? I got this. This is the Kat Von D Locket Powder in the color 10 185. This is just a refill because I have the old formulation of this and I really didn't need this, honey, but Colorful Camille keep talking about it, raving about it. And then she made me go ahead and get this, this formulation of it. But I only got it in the refill because it's in this type of container. And I figured I could just keep it in here. Um, I did just watch this, I think. But that's what it looks like. The camera washes it out. It's not that light in real life. The camera just kind of washes it out. But it's in tan deep 185. And I think I'm just going to keep it in here and put it in the drawer with the rest of my powder what else do i have i have a nyx bear with me concealer serum and this looks light on camera and it's light in real life too what number is this this is medium medium yeah. that medium gonna be light i might need to get another one and just mix them why did i get it in medium I must have saw a swatch somewhere and thought it looked decent. This is an Essence blush that I picked up. And this is in the shade Bespoke. That's what it looks like. 
I do remember buying this because they had a deal with Essence. I think it was buy one, buy one you got two free or something. So I bought this one and I got these two concealers free. Something like that. Again, another colorful Camille had me out here buying stuff and I got these in the shade Dark Caramel. And um, I have another one that's lighter that I use for highlighting, but I got these because hopefully they can be a skin tone shade. So when I don't feel like putting no makeup, I can just touch up a little bit. That was that was a thought process. What else is in here? A Hello Good Stuff Deep Puff Serum. That's that. Girl, I picked up all these because I only had like two of them and I like them. So when they came out with some new colors um, at Ulta, I went ahead and picked up all of these. So these are the Lifter Glosses from um, Maybelline Lifter Glosses. So I got six here, I think. Girl, I think I told you I got all of them. That's six, and then here's the other three. I hope there's one more in there. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I think there's actually 20, so I don't have all of them. But I fell in love once I started using these. There we go. That's all ten of the lifter glosses that I picked up. Ooh, I'm making a mess on this vanity. What else? Okay, I got another um, Soap and Glory. Again, this must have been on sale. This is a hydrating body butter. I need some of this now on these hands, honey, because they are ashy for me washing my hands. But that's this one. Last three things in this box. Okay, a Soap and Glory bath. What is this? Bath and body oil. So Ulta must have had some kind of soap and glory deal because I picked up three. So it must have been like buy three, get something. I don't know. Normally when I do that, it has to be some kind of buy more deal that Ulta has. This is a camouflage liquid concealer from Catrice. So I got that in the shade. Is this? Um, I don't see a shade on here, but that's what I got. Another concealer. And then another concealer. This is the um, Zoeva Authentic Skin Perfector. These were actually on clearance. I remember this now. Do I have my invoice? Invoice. You know, Ulta don't be putting prices on stuff on these invoices. It's not a price on here, but they were on the clearance. I know, and I think this was like a dollar. This may have been three dollars. I remember that. I remember that's the only reason I'm buying all these concealers, girl, because it was discounted. I don't even remember what color this is, but let's see. Ooh, that one looks pretty. Oh, I like that one. Okay, I can't wait to some makeup on and give that a try and I've already been talking for 11 minutes uh, I guess I'm gonna show you this y'all want to see some more <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you this too because I do want to go ahead and put this stuff away so this is gonna be some nails girl I remember this deal let me tell you I'm getting excited because I'm starting talking loud Ulta had this on sale these nails y'all know if y'all know me, y'all know I love some nails, right? They had them on clearance for like $2. $2. Not a sale, I guess. They were like, buy something, get something. I don't remember, but I remember they were like $2.15. And I text my friends and screenshot it. was like, y'all go to Ulta right now and get y'all some nails. So this is all the ones that I picked up. I'm going to show you them. Let me see if I got any duplicates. So this one, I do have a duplicate of it. And it's the Masterpiece One of a Kind Luxe Manny. Aren't those pretty? 
and glitzy. And these were like $2.85. Girl. $2. So I picked up two. And then, do I have any other duplicates? Looks like these are duplicates. These are the Fancy Gel Collection. And they're just in like a neutral, nudie type color. So I got those two. It looks like two dollars. I'm telling you, when I get a good deal like these, I'll be, be stocking up on them. Because, you know, you never know when this deal going to come back around. I got some more in here. Okay. I have this one. This is a red one. Well, it look kind of pink. But that's that one. And then this is the vogue fantasy one. It has some different different neutral kind of colors. I'm excited about these nails, girl. Okay, and then these last two. These are duplicates as well. And these are very pretty. I like these. Look how pretty they are. And they kind of short. I'm into short nails right now, especially when I got a lot of stuff going on around the house. Y'all know I'm trying to paint and be clutter and everything. So look how pretty those are. And they short and cute. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. They're so pretty. So pretty. Okay. We have something from jcat beauty it is a under eye balm <laughs> i keep telling y'all i'm trying to do something about these under eyes okay and look at the um what it look like like you're supposed to put it under there and it's supposed to hide something under these eyes girl my friends keep saying ain't nothing wrong with my eyes but i don't know maybe it's just all in my head all in my head, all in my head. We almost done. Stay with me, stay with me. What else I got? This Ultimate Coverage Concealer in Dark Sand. It's from Makeup Revolution. I was on a concealer crazy, right? Oh my goodness. I was going concealer crazy. I think it was $2. I need to stop letting good deals have me buying all this stuff because I be buying a lot of stuff. But I picked this up. Did I get this? I think this was on sale at some point too. This is a MAC paint pot in the shade of the plate of state. I don't think it's a concealer. I think it's um like a base that you put before you put on your eyeshadow. So it's kind of a skin tone color. And that's that. Nene Beauty be talking about she uses paint pots. So I was watching her one day and she put it in her small lines. I don't really have small lines, but I got it. What is this? This is something from Mac. It must have been a free gift for getting something. Oh wait, maybe I bought this. This is Velvet Teddy. No, it was a free gift. Velvet Teddy little mini lipstick. Ooh, that's a nice neutral color. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. I don't own Velvet Teddy. I like that. Oh, I can't wait to wear that. That's gonna be gorgeous on my skin tone. And mix it with one of these lifter glosses. Lips gonna be popping, girl, popping. Mm. Where I'm going? <laughs> and then I picked up this. Why did I pick this up? This is a J-Cat metal spatula. Girl, I thought I was going to be mixing up something. So, I think that they must have had some deal with J-Cat. Because I picked up these two. Had to be on sale. But, maybe I was going to mix some face mask or something. I don't know. But, they got an example of you mixing your foundations together. I got it. I'm going to mix something with it. You know what? I can use it because I'm actually going to make a, um, a body butter. I'm into these body butters. 
So I have some um, coconut oil and some shea butter and I have some um, fragrance oil. I'm gonna mix it together and whip it to try to make my own whipped body butter. And so maybe I can use this to scoop it all around. See, I wasn't even thinking about that when I bought this, but how it work out? Girl, it ain't working out. Okay, last thing in the box is this Naked Honey. I remember getting this, this is not new. I got this because I felt like, <laughs> I felt like it was a good deal. I didn't own the honey. However, it was on sale, I remember for $20, maybe $25 at Ulta. And I went ahead and picked it up when they had it 50% off because I felt like these colors were just some nice neutral colors that I can use. Oh, that's so pretty. Y'all done saw this before. Y'all ain't seen it from me. That's what those colors look like. Gorge, gorge. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I am going to start doing some Shop My Stash um, videos pretty soon once I go through my stash and um, that way you can see me using these products and um, yeah I can actually get some use out of, them, out of them I used to wear makeup more and stuff when I was going to the office if you guys look back at my old vlogs when I was like going places and stuff I would wear makeup but since I'm at home and I work from home I really don't do much but you know be in the house and I just don't put on a full face of makeup if I'm just sitting here looking at myself and I'm not on camera at work or anything so I really don't wear it that's why I'm hoping the world get back to what it used to be so I can go out and do some stuff and wear my little makeup um but I, I really am gonna get on the no buy because I have like so many more boxes of things over here to go through and I just need to start wearing this stuff and um yeah I think I'm just having a little confession right now confession of a shopaholic because <laughs> i'm looking at all this stuff that i have here and i'm like when am i gonna wear where am i going um but yeah i done made myself sad now because i'm buying all this stuff and can't go anywhere and wear it and stuff so i'm gonna get off i'll see you guys on friday hey friend it's friday and i just Got back in the house. I actually went to go get something to eat. That was my first time going out all week, for real, this time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've been out the house all week. I'll have to go back and look at the vlogs to see, but I think I've been home. I am, um, I'm tired. I got some pasta from Domino's. And um, I'm just gonna eat this. It looks dry, um, but they're always good every time I do get them. Mm. Look hot. But it is good. <laughs> I'm starving. I ate breakfast this morning. And now this, and it is 7.15 at night. So I was on empty. But this is my Friday. It's still so cold. I don't feel like doing nothing. Eating this, taking a hot shower, and go to bed. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I hate when it's cold like this. Maybe I should have a drink. I think a drink will brighten up my night. How about that? I might just do that. But okay, girl. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Happy Saturday, friend. Girl, I am just getting up. Getting myself together. Am I together? No, I'm not together. Um, I'm doing absolutely nothing today. I um it is like 3 30 in the afternoon. I woke up early 
then I did nothing. <laughs> Stay in the bed, girl. In the bed because it's so cold and I don't operate in the cold, okay? Stayed in the bed. Then I finally got up, got dressed. Not even dressed, honey. Just threw some around the house clothes on. Took a nap. And um, now I'm up because Amazon told me that my packages got delivered. So, um, I wanted to show you what I got because we're not doing anything else today. So the first thing I ordered, and I told you about it earlier in the week, is some oil. I plan on making some um, body butter and I wanted it to smell like vanilla. So I ordered this vanilla scented oil and it had some good reviews on Amazon. And people say they use it to make their, to make candles and um, soaps. So I got some. I'm looking for some scissors. Let's let's open it up and see what it's like. Let's see what it looked like. My face is doing something real weird. Ever since I had COVID and my sinuses were messed up, my face just be doing, it just feels like my sinuses are doing something. I don't know, but it'd be like doing stuff random. But this is what it looks like. It's just this, um, what is this? Tahitian vanilla, 30 mil. It says uses for fragrance, oils, soaps, air fresheners, spray, skin, and hair formulas. You can put it in cleaning products, dryer sheets, put it on your carpet, massage, your body oil. Okay, you can use it for all kinds of things. So I'm gonna smell it to see how vanilla it smells. Oh, I like it, okay. Oh, that smells really good, pure vanilla, pure vanilla. Okay, so one day next week we're gonna make some body oil, okay? Some body, um, some body butter. We're gonna put this in. I like it. If you like vanilla, you wanna make your own oil or something, get this off of Amazon. What it looks like. Next thing I picked up here is some makeup, here. of course. I saw online that Wet n' Wild had some new makeup. I'm like, okay, Wet n' Wild. I saw it on Instagram. And they posted some pictures of it. And they said it's available at Amazon, at Target, and Walmart. You know, drugstore. And this is what it looks like. It is a um, finishing powder. Clarifying finishing powder. Now, I did expect it to be a little bit bigger than this. It looked bigger. <laughs> it looked a little bigger uh, online, but um, just finishing powder. Okay. And I got it in tan dark. So, we're going to give that a try. And it was only $3. So, Wet n Wild normally is, is good. I never have any issues with Wet n Wild. Next thing I picked up since I was on the Wet n Wild um, storefront on Amazon was this um, primer because I heard great things about this Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I think this went viral on TikTok about how it blurs and does good stuff to your skin. I think that I'm gonna go ahead and end the weekly vlog, friend, because when I say I'm doing nothing today, I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna be in the house um, watching TV. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like, be doing anything around here to show you, okay? Like, um, I may go up my little beauty clouds a little bit later, but I don't know. So I'm not gonna bore you. I'm gonna go ahead and end the weekly vlog. Thank you so much for check me out this week. I will see you next week. Bye.